guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my August BoxyCharm box. I'm going to do a little try on with you guys. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This is my third month getting BoxyCharm. I'll link my last month's video up here in the cards in case you're interested in that. This subscription box retails for $21 and you usually get about five full size products in it. So it can be a huge value. I will link the link to BoxyCharm down below in case you're interested in that. But let's hop into the products that I got. I'm gonna go in order of how I would do my makeup so that I can try them on for you guys. Okay, I just got up, so ignore the tired face. The first thing I'm going to use are these Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. And in the little pamphlet, it says, um, Wander Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. After a night of partying, who doesn't love a good eye mask? These gold foil under eye masks brighten, hydrate, reduce the appearance of dark circles, the hyaluronic acid diminishes the appearance of wrinkles while aloe leaf extracts and lavender oil cool and soothe the under eye area. And these retail for $13. I don't know if it's like a package of them is $13 or they're $13 each. I doubt that. Um, I've, although, who knows, it might be. We actually just got a blush from Water Beauty last month. So it's kind of interesting that there's the same brand two times in a row but I am going to use these. It says apply onto clean, dry under eyes, repeat on the other side, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and discard after use. Gently pat remaining serum into skin. So let's see what these are like. Whoa, it just squirted everywhere. Okay, so they come on this little disc and I think they're in between, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to pick one of these up and then just place it underneath my eye. This is super thin. Some of the eye patches that I've used before are thicker and they're because they're thicker, they're a little bit heavier and they don't just stick on that easily. So these are really easy to get on. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for about 15 minutes and then I will be back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm just going to peel these off. And I'm going to take my ring finger and just pat in all of that extra serum. And looking at the box, the next thing that I have to apply is eyeliner so i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then i will come back and do eyeliner okay guys the next product in here i'm actually not going to use this is from laura lee los angeles and it's the party animal eyeshadow palette and if we're just being totally honest these are not shades that i'm ever going to wear and so i feel like it would be a waste of me dipping into this when i can just include this in a giveaway for one of you guys so that's what i'm going to do this uh, retails for 19 dollars. it has a nice mirror in it the packaging feels really nice and i love the design on the front of it but again i just don't want to dip into this when i just realistically know i'm not that creative with my makeup looks i'm just like boring neutral girl so I, yeah, I'll just include this in a giveaway for you guys. That being said, the next product I'm going to apply is from Bang Beauty, which I don't think I've tried anything from there. And this is a gel eyeliner in the shade Chocolate. This was actually opened in my box, so I'm a little bit worried that it's probably dried out a little bit, but it's just this nice brown color. So I'm going to apply this with Oh, let me tell you how much it retails for. It is the chocolate eyeliner, eyeliner. Use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your brows. This creamy chocolate toned pomade is the ultimate triple threat, and this retails for $22. So I'm just going to go in with my angled brush. This is the Zoeva 317 winged liner brush, and I'm just going to dip in and then... And I'm just going to follow the curve of my eye. Okay, so this is definitely a dry formula, but I'm wondering if it's because it was sitting in the box open. 
I don't think that obviously it's supposed to. I do like that it looks a little bit more warm in here and then it's applying on the eye. It's more neutral and cool on the eye, which I do like. Okay, yeah, this side is like not going on. It's crumbling up. So I can't really tell if this is actually a good liner or not. I wish it hadn't been open already because obviously that could contribute to this but the pigmentation you definitely have to build it up it's not as like creamy right off the bat it'll do for today but i don't know that i would reach for this again because i just it's not that creamy and it was a little bit crumbly so i don't know i wish i knew if this was actually good if it showed up without being opened okay i'm gonna pop on my mascara and then i will be back I just finished up my mascara. So there's two product, two other products in here I either can't use or I'm not going to use. One of them is the House of Lashes, Lashes in Bombshell. These look really, really pretty, but I don't own any lash glue. So I, at some point, will test these out and buy lash glue. We, I got lashes in them, I think, two months ago, and I have not tried those out either just because that's not my everyday life. I have to run errands, and I don't need, like, full fake lashes to do so today. And then the other one is from Odessi New York. This is the Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. Obviously, it's gonna be hard for me to put cuticle oil on here, but I'll just show you the package. So this is what it looks like, and it looks like it has just like a regular brush. So I will try that out as well. If you guys see one of these things in my favorites, you know that I've been loving it. So the cuticle oil retails for $18 and the lashes retail for between nine and 12. So, okay, let's jump into the last product, which is from Smashbox. This is the Be Legendary lipstick and this is in the shade Totes Matte. I love Smashbox lip packaging. This almost looks like so i think that my box was delivered to another house because it said it was delivered three days ago and i just got it today and it usually they put it in my mailbox and it was just sitting on my porch so i think that it's been sitting out in like 90 degrees but the lipstick almost looks like i don't know not right anyway this is the shade i probably wouldn't wear this very often because i'm all about that nude lip Okay, I for sure would not wear this. This is way too Barbie pink for me, but I do really like the formula. I've tried this formula before and it's really, really comfortable even though it's matte. I'm just gonna put on some of my Bare Minerals um, Sugar Lip Gloss to see if we can tone it down a bit. Okay, that did nothing except add shine. Oh well. Overall, I'm a little disappointed in this month's box. I do really like these eye patches. I have two more, so it came with three. And then um, the eyeshadow palette is just not something that I will use. The lashes are whatever, they're pretty, but I probably wouldn't wear this style either. The eyeliner was a little crumply and I just feel like the pigmentation isn't really there. Again, I don't know if this is because it was already unscrewed. It was just kind of like sitting in the box with the lid on top. So I don't know if that's why and it had dried out too much or if I just don't like the actual formula of it, but either way, this was disappointing. The lipstick is a shade that I wouldn't wear. And then this cuticle oil, I will definitely try out. So out of these six products, I like one of them, which is the eye patches, and then I'll try out this one. So like one and a half out of six. I feel like that is not great. I would love the Smashbox Lippy if it was in a different shade that I would wear. This box retails for $21 and I added up everything that was included in this month's box and it retails for $105. So it is a good value, but again, sometimes it's hit or miss and this month for me it was a miss. So it wouldn't be worth it for me to buy the box this month, but the past couple of months, there have been enough products in it that I love that it would have been worth it. So it's just one of those things that you kind of have to stick with it, I think, so that you can end up getting boxes that you love. But 
yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you get BoxyCharm 2, what was in your box. I'm curious to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.